Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. Today's video, I'm going to be using the chalkable shape that comes with August Club Transfer. I will have a link posted down below if you'd like to read information about Chalk Couture's Club Couture uh, monthly subscription, and you can sign up for four months prepaid or 12 months also. That's a new thing that they have started this month, and also a uh, coordinating embellishment. As of right now, they're going to be chalkable shapes, and for this month, it's the pumpkin. So I've done a video already showing the basics with the three colors that you get, the three paste colors that you get with your Club Couture for the month of August. So I want to go ahead and use the chalkable shape, and I'm going to be using two of the colors that come with your excuse me, your, your club. One of them is papaya, the other one is the pesto. Now you receive paste packets. I'm using the jars, but this is what a paste packet looks like. And just make sure you knead it very well before you use it. But I'm going to also be using their new color that they launched um, with their autumn 2023 collection. It's called Hay Pumpkin. So I'm going to be using that. I've got a couple of paint brushes here, a couple of squeegees, little mini squeegees. And if you're a new subscriber, Chocotour will send you a mini squeegee. Uh, a little jar of water and a little ceramic plate so that way I can just dilute this down because I'm going to do, I'm not going to necessarily say watercolor, but I'm going to do a little painting to fill in this area, but I'm going to do it on the shape so that way it gives you a little bit of dimension to your project and also how you can attach this to your reusable surface if you decide to get this. Now this is a 9 by 12 black and white uh, frame insert. It's reusable. One side's white, the other side is black love this. I think this is perfect for club. That's why I'm using this. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to set this aside. Here's my fuzzing cloth. Now I will have an edible shopping cart link if you'd like to get any of uh, these products like the Hello Pumpkin or you want to get some other colors, fuzzing cloth. But a fuzzing cloth is not necessary. It just makes things convenient for me. But anyhow, um, if you like to get one also for yourself, it will be in the edible shopping cart link. But if you don't have one, don't fret. You can use a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, as you can hear, that's sticky. A uh, piece of fabric, something that is going to take some of the uh, tackiness, you know, stickiness down. Because you don't want it to stretch so much to your surface to where it can um, pull and run your silk screen transfer. Now, I'm not going to fuzz this too terribly much because there's, I only have a little bit of a green area that's going to be attaching to my surface. So I'm only going to probably do this about three or four times. Normally, I do this at least, I would say, eight times. I find with their new manufacturer with their transfers that, uh, they, to me, they seem to be more sticky. And I need to fuzz a little bit more. All right, I'm going to set this aside. Oh, I need to get my towel over here so I can spritz down my transfer. All right. I'm just going to lay this down, and then you just line it. Now this is not double sided, as in for the design, the shape, but you can do a pattern on the back, or if you just want to do the pumpkin part, you can. Alright, so I'm just going to try to line this up the best I can. You can have a little bit of border. This is another reason why I love their new manufacturer because look at you can see where you're placing so much better than with the previous one. All right I'm just going to smooth this over and press my transfer down on my surface just trying to make sure I have good contact. I might be able to line line this up a little bit better here. Hold on. Oops. Oops sticky. Alright let me try this again. Good enough. My leaves were kind of hanging off the other end there. Didn't want that. That's why I repositioned it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use papaya like I did for this one. It's going to give me more of my, my shading. Let's put it that way. So here's the papaya. I, got, I forgot, I got my little stem there. 
and you just apply this just like you would any other surface. This is reusable. You can clean it off. Let's say you want to do more of a green with, you know, with a little bit of orange in it, you know, like a pumpkin that's not quite ripe. Or maybe you wanted to do a teal pumpkin or just a different shade. You can do that. This is, you can clean it. It is reusable. That is one of the things I like about Chalk Tour. You can create your your art and your projects in the colors or whatever, however you would like to, you know, do this. I just try to give you some inspiration and some ideas and how to use Chalk Tour's products. And I love the reusable surfaces. I am so glad they came out with that uh, black and white frame insert. Okay, I've got that on there. And now I'm going to put the pesto on for my stem and leaves. get my caps back on here. And I think I have paste on my fingers. Yeah, a little bit. Now I'm going to peel this. It's going to look just like what is on my surface there. Alright, I'm just going to do that. I'll spritz it until I can get to the sink to clean it. All right, I'm going to get my little drying tool because I need to paint this. I'm going to paint this a little bit. I just want to make sure this, this is good and dry. So if you didn't want to put the pumpkin on the flat surface, you just wanted to do it on this and then attach it, you can. And I'll show you a couple ways that you can do that when I'm done. I just want to make sure that this is good and dry. Alright. Now, this is their Hello Pumpkin. This is a new color that they have launched with their Autumn 2023 collection. Looks like pumpkin puree. It's a little bit, yeah, that's more true to color. Up here with the light, it kind of mutes it a little bit. But yeah, that's a gorgeous color. So what I'm going to do, I've got my little little plate here. I'm just going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to put a little bit of water on my plate. And I'm just going to go right into my paste. I'm going to put a little dab of that on my plate. Kind of water it down. And if I need more water then I will. And I'm just going to start painting those areas that are white and kind of highlight I need more water. I don't want it opaque. I want more watery and a little bit more transparent. And I will be reactivating some of that um, papaya color, but that's fine because this is going to be giving your your shadows. So I'm going also going over the papaya. I'm basically painting over the entire pumpkin and even the papaya color with this color hello pumpkin now if you think it's still a little too bright you can mix a little bit of the papaya with it if you want you rinse off my brush get a little bit more water on here and just dip into my papaya and kind of water that down blend the colors you can do that also and just paint right over it. That's why I said it's kind of like a watercolor, but it's not. You're just you're um, watering down your paste. Because yeah, you can paint with it. You can use it for art. It 
guess I should have got a larger brush for these larger areas I wasn't thinking I was just thinking all this detail and it doesn't take much as you can see I'm trying to go kind of in the shape make my strokes because obviously you're going to see my brush strokes there that way you can just color this in pumpkin it's a little bit brighter that's more highlighted same thing I'm going to go into the pyre a little bit more up here at the top and at the bottom hopefully you can see what I'm doing here let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit better shift this up a little bit now I'm going into my watered down papaya a little bit over here so that way I can get the bottoms I kind of like actually have a mix here let me get a little bit more papaya on there a little bit more water to my hello pumpkin and just kind of blend it If you like this video or you like this uh, project idea, um, I would appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. So that way it helps me with YouTube algorithm. I do appreciate that. Really, I do. Um, it does help me with them. And also, um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. So that way YouTube will hopefully notify you of whenever I post another video. Alright, along this edge here I'm going to do a little bit more of the papaya. Um, and if you'd like to, I'll have a link, so if you'd like to sign up to join my email list, because I'm considering sending emails of whenever I post a video, because not I, I've noticed YouTube is not notifying all my uh, subscribers. So you'd like to do something like that or whenever Chocolate Tour has got a sale going on or things like that <clears throat> or information I think you need to know I can send you an email I also have a Facebook group I'm so so active in there I'll be honest with you but uh, you're welcome to join that I'll have a link down there also I pretty much do videos of information once in a while I'll do a project in there but yeah okay so, and if you wanted to go into the pesto and color that in a little bit, you could do that. I might do that. Let's see how that looks. After filling that in, that the leaf and the stem looks a little, a little out of it. It does not look like it uh, belongs. It needs some color. So I'm just going to water down my pesto here. Oh, I like this. I hope you do too. There we go. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to get my caps back on my paste. 
I'm going to give this a quick dry so I can show you how you can attach it to whatever, you know, your surface. Let's say you decided to use this surface. Oops, I need to zoom out here. So that way if you decide it, you want to uh, use the surface, or let's say you have a different surface you'd like to use, you can use that. If you have a Aiden frame or one of those magnetic surfaces, just attach uh, magnets to the back. You could do that. All right, just want to make sure this is good and dry. And I like how that papaya gives it uh, the shadow effect, and it, that Hello Pumpkin is just perfect for this. Blend it with a little bit of papaya. And that's how it looks when it's painted. So if you want to attach this to your surface, you've got a couple options here that I can think of. There might be some ways you may have also thought of. But one way is the removable glue dots. I love these things. I got these from Michaels. Um, so if you're at a Michaels or shop online at Michaels, uh, get these. These are the removable. Just make sure they're removable. So these are the half inch ones. So I personally would probably be maybe two, well, two up here and one down here, or you could maybe, you know, like a triangular, or if you want to do four, make sure it's on there fairly well, you could do that, but it's removable. I love these. Or, which is what I'm going to do right now, you can use some tape, some scotch tape. All you do is you just kind of roll it over, make a little roll, and attach it. To the back. All right, that's how I'm going to hopefully you can see that. And then you just align it up. Now, if you just wanted to do this and you didn't want to have this in the background possibly showing, you know, because it's going to add some dimension then you can just eliminate that when you first put on your your design from your April, April, I don't know why I said April, August transfer. All right, and just press it down. And there you go. Now you have got some dimension to your project. You have got this painted in, you, you know, using at least two of the colors from your your club. You just need to get the Hello Pumpkin. Or if you just want to do it, water it down your papaya and do it another color. But I, I really like that Hello Pumpkin. It's that, that really like yellow puree. Yellow orange, I should say. It's really pretty. I like that. I hope you enjoyed this project and gave me an idea of what you can do with that chocolate chip shape. And if you want to use this for something else, you just peel it off. Tape's removable. And let's say maybe you get one of these little wood crates and you want to use it for a painted surface and something else that's going to be another project. Or let's say you have one of these base shapes and you want to use this as a display next to your sign. You could do that. I think this, it's, I, I do, I, I like the shape a lot. I think it's got multiple uses. I hope you enjoy this. And I will have a link posted down below for the club information if you'd like to join and sign up. If you sign up through that link, I do earn a commissions and I do appreciate that. So I do, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it showed you how to, an idea that you can use this chocolate chip shape. And I'll be doing one here in a little bit with that, that wooden crate from the Dollar Tree. Just put it right on there and there you go and that's how it look on the side I love this I hope you do too thank you for watching enjoy your day